Yeah, good morning YouTube. This is the SBMS 120 display and we're at 46% state of charge. Yeah, and there we have the trimetric, but there we're getting 48%. So these two are pretty close. So with 170 amp hours, that means they're within 2%, which is about 3.4 amp hours. This meter only takes into account the amp hours in and out of the battery since it was fully charged so I might need to do a little more adjusting on the parameters that I have set in here so anyway I just wanted to show you the two meters are reading pretty darn close to each other that's probably about as close as you can expect yeah so it's gone up to 49 percent while we've been watching let's go back and take a look at the SBMS display and then you can see back here on the SBMS we've gone back up to 47 percent and we're now getting 15 amps of charging. How about we swing over here and take a look at the ammeter on my AC power inverter. So yeah, here's the uh, ammeter on the AC power inverter. I'm going to turn it on and that will start running my freezer out in the garage. So let's watch the current spike here. Yep, hits about 88 amps and then drops right down. And right now the freezer is using 211 watts and 1.74 amps on the AC side. Yeah, there we go on the EP Solar. We're doing just about 80 volts on the three series panels, pulling in just about 18 amps for battery charging. Let's see what that is for our power here. So 270, about 280 watts. I've seen about 620 watts. I think what happens, this charge controller starts throttling when it gets up close to 40 amps and 40 amps at 16 volts is like 640 watts. So actually I'm thinking what I'm going to do here is drop back to two panels on this device because two panels is 670 watts and then I'll take the third panel that I'm currently putting in here and feed that into the SBMS 120 so that way it'll have about 25 amps of charging and then this one will ha still have close to 40 amps that was one of the reasons I put all the same panels up on my racks I've been testing them in series I think I'm going to go back to parallel. I just I don't see any great benefit of running them in series. I think partly because I have relatively short cable runs to the panels. It's about 20 feet and I'm using 10 gauge cable, one pair of cables per panel. So I'm probably not getting much voltage draw and I just find this controller doesn't seem to really benefit from series versus parallel and the nice thing with parallel is it's a lot easier to swap around because I can put this parallel panel onto the SBMS 120 so I think the next project is I'll drop <clears throat> drop this back to two panels oh and then let me show you one change I did show you the parameters so I found I had one over voltage shut off on my power inverter yesterday so there's my settings uh, battery type what I did I dropped the over voltage disconnect down to 16.2 it was 16.3 then I dropped the charge limit to 16.0 and all the other ones over voltage reconnect equalization boost charge float charge are all at 16 volts and then that's the boost recovery so at 15.9 it'll start back into boost mode but there's really no difference now so boost float equalize they're all the same 16 volts I'm trying to keep lowering the these numbers to keep from number one over volting the 
power inverter and then also I think I might have been overvolting the SBMS 120 and causing it to shut down so I'm trying to trying to balance these numbers here with what the numbers are in the SBMS 120 to try to get these all to work a little better the big limit here is you just have 0.1 volt resolution on this charge controller where on the SBMS 120 you've got a hundredth of a volt resolution so you can set things down to 10 millivolts the other issue here with the EP solar is there's no battery voltage sensing so these values here have to be a little bit higher than the actual battery voltage trying to walk a fine line here keep these things up high enough so that the EP solar doesn't limit charging but you got to keep things low enough that you don't overvolt the other things in the system you can only test those things under load get this thing cranking out full power get put a load on the inverter and then have loads switch on and off have clouds blow over the the panels shade the panels and get that cloud edge effect and it's all those uh, limits here the extremes that cause cause all the problems so just trying to get all those dialed in because this was the first shutdown I had in probably six weeks but yeah I just wanted to show you all that so let's go back to the screen here up, up there monitoring now yeah, we're getting about 27 amps and the voltage you can see here 15.6 according to that display yeah he's showing 15.3 volts roughly on the SBMS 120 so we're showing 15.3 here 15.6 on the EP solar so you can see there's about 300 millivolts difference yeah there we go still at 47 percent state of charge and now we're getting four amps coming into the batteries net yeah if you guys have any questions about the system go ahead and post up in the comment section below I'll put some other videos over on the left side that you might be interested in and as always thanks for watching